What's up, guys? It's your boy. Ha, 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 ha. What's going on, guys? Hey, y'all can't see it, but if y'all could, y'all see the chain in my hand right now. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you watch the channel. Where the hell have you been, Camo? You've not been posting very often, and we haven't seen very many hikes from you. It seems like you post a chain, you post a video every three months or so. What's going on over there? Well, guys, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. If a lot of you guys don't know, I used to live in Arizona, and then I moved out to Oklahoma, and I was in Oklahoma for three years. One of the main reasons I moved to Oklahoma was to get away from the stress of my career. I was in technology for 19 plus years now, still in it, but not at the capacity that I used to be. So I was trying to get away from that, and I wanted to relax. I wanted to, to do something not technical and just enjoy life. And so that's when I moved out to Oklahoma. Oklahoma was the second best place I've ever lived in reference to Arizona, which was the first place I've ever lived that I absolutely loved. But I was in Oklahoma. I was living in a 14-foot camper on my buddy's property, and life was good. I was working, you know, I was I was working in my buddy's shop, helping him out as a tire technician and doing everything non-technical, just enjoying days, laying in the camper, going camping with you know, with my, my good friends and family and just doing life just easy. And then my good buddy that was basically the glue to the entire family, the glue to all the friends, everybody knew him, he passed away. He had a, he had a stroke that was onset by an aneurysm. Him and his family were really the reasons why I was where I was at in Oklahoma, enjoying myself. They're the reason why I was able to chill and just enjoy life and when he died, essentially his girlfriend and her kids were told that they had to leave or pay rent. And it was assumed that I was not going to be able to stay there because Big Jim was not there. And it was really nothing for me to, to, to be there for. I mean, I could have stayed there and, and paid him the rent, but I don't know that he would have been okay with that. So that means I would have had to move out to Tulsa, Oklahoma, the big city, to get a job. And so I decided to move back to... South Carolina. So I, I packed everything in the Suburban and towed the Echo all the way back to South Carolina. Got back with family, basically. I was down there for about a year, taking care of, you know, helping out with mom and spending time with her and just enjoying family. I was working a non-technical position. So about a year and a half into me being back in South Carolina, my mother passes. We knew that this was coming because she was she was diagnosed with congestive heart failure and she went into the hospital one last time and when she came out, uh, she just kind of progressively went down. She wanted to pass away in the house and as one of those deals where your mother goes from being somebody who was very independent, doing her own stuff, opening her own jars, walking around, going to church, going to the grocery store to not being able to even walk herself to the bathroom without two people helping her. And so I woke up one morning and my sister was in the living room and she said, mom's gone. She passed away last night. My sister that was sitting in the living room, she lives about 15 minutes away from the house. I mean, about four months later, she passes away. She has a massive stroke and it was onset by an asthma attack. She had bad asthma. So in less than four months, I lost my mother and I lost one of my sisters. Fast forward a couple of years, this stupid pandemic thing happens. And so life completely changes again for me. And the last two years have been learning lessons for me. It, it forced me to think about my future a lot harder than I've done in probably the last four or five years. And so let's answer some of the questions that you guys may have. One, if you probably heard him earlier, Ace is doing great. He's a very healthy puppy. He'll be turning eight years old in May of 2022. Very healthy, very happy. He loves South Carolina. Well, I don't, yes, now you want to speak. What's going to happen to the Camomillion channel? Well, nothing if I can help it. I don't plan on closing the channel because I'm no longer into YouTube. When I was in Oklahoma, about a year before I left, I sat down for six months and created content spread out over the course of seven to eight years. Last time I looked, I believe I have content coming out to 2025. Will I put more content out on the Camelian channel? Well, I'm doing it right now, but I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. I just don't have the ambition right now to 
to go hiking because of the last two years and this impending inflation we're about to go through. The world is, is not in a great place to where we can just travel, travel, travel. Money is tight and everything is more expensive as you probably already know. The channel is not going anywhere. I think it's going to stay right here. If I get to the point where I just don't want to make content, I'm going to try to at least put out a couple of videos a year, if not more. So let's talk about the last two years here. It's coming to the end of 2021. and the last two years, a lot of things I learned. I was never in the stock market. Never thought about being in the stock market. Didn't give a shit about the stock market. I was one of those people that thought, hey, the stock market is not for me. I can't afford it. It's for rich people. Just going to go on with my little happy life. In real reality, when the pandemic hit, everything in the stock market got really cheap. And so the last two years, I've been in the stock market. I've been learning, self-taught learning into the into stock market. I mean. So I've learned a lot. I've done a lot of thinking over the last six months to a year. I obviously don't want to stay here in South Carolina. Camo, do you have any plans of leaving the state of South Carolina in 2022? Uh, not any plans that I'm planning to do. Would I like to? Yes. But I don't see that happening with interest rates about to be hiked, inflation about to go through the roof. Moving by itself is expensive. Moving in a inflationary period, a hiked, possibly hyperinflationary period, is going to be way more expensive than necessary. So I don't see me moving anywhere. But that brings me to what you see in front of you right now. So I'm going to be starting a new YouTube channel, ADC Python Academy. I've been working on learning Python programming language for the last three months now, and I've done it in my free time. What I'm going to be doing with this channel here is I'm going to be teaching the basics, intermediate level up to advanced. Now, this is going to take over the course of several years, but I know a lot of you guys that follow me on this channel have no interest in programming languages of any sort, and that's fine. I just thought I might let you guys know this is my next venture. If you want to come over and subscribe, that's great. If not, that's that's great. And what are you going to do with it, Camo? Once you learn this stuff, what are you going to do with it? Well, I'm obviously going to find a way to make it useful to, to make some money. Do I want to work for somebody else doing programming? Not necessarily. I want to work for myself doing programming? Yeah, I'd like to do that. So that may be a direction that I'm going to go. What I've done to prepare for this? Well, I've ordered... Uh, a lot of studio equipment that's going to make the video process of teaching a lot easier. A microphone, an, I an old iPad that my sister gave me, a pen for the iPad. I got another laptop coming, so I'm, I'm making this a, a, a big deal. I'm making it a process. And so that's it, guys. That's, that's pretty much what's been going on with me. I want to thank you guys that have stayed subscribed. I want to thank you guys that have watched the videos that have come out. Watch the videos that are going to come out. I really appreciate you. But that's what's been going on with me, guys. Uh, two quick shout outs. Shout outs to uh, Biddy Boo Brown and a shout out to Smelling Roses. A lot of cool places you're going there. Smelling Roses and uh, Biddy, I'm glad that, that you're still kicking. You're still fighting life. It's the best way I can say it because you got a lot of stuff going on over there. <laughs> that's it, guys. Uh, we're doing good. Just thought I might give you an update. This is probably a little longer video than you needed to have, but I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. Like I said, come over to the new channel. Check it out. Subscribe. If you got somebody that wants to learn Python, it's a great place for them to come and learn because they can learn right along with me. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'm out.